In our state of California, traffic collisions are the leading cause of death for teenagers. And this issue is one that is present across the nation. According to the National Safety Council, approximately 38,000 deaths have been caused by traffic collisions. Since I'm a teenager, once I heard this information, I wanted to solve this problem. Last fall, in our Principal of STEM course, we started exploring the practical applications of artificial intelligence in the real world. This is where we got the inspiration for our project, and we started thinking about how we can improve the quality of life and reduce traffic collisions within our community. To begin our project, we decided to conduct some research about what causes car collisions among teen drivers, and we found that about 40% of all car collisions occur at intersections, and that about 21.5% of all car fatalities occur at those intersections as well. As a team, we all virtually met up in Zoom and we thought of possible devices that we could use. While planning, we decided that this device would be efficient and easy to use for others. To be user-friendly, we wanted to create a device that was easy to mount on the dashboard. In order to work efficiently, we determined we needed a high processing board that could handle live image processing. That led us to using NVIDIA's Jetson Nano and the Ducky Town kits. So uh, that's those are the kits we wanted to use. However, we didn't have those resources. So we first looked to our school to help purchase those and uh, they came through for us, but we also looked out to the community through Donors Choose and through the help of local businesses like Frank's Automotive. They were able to uh, donate money to our uh, source because they valued this project and knew the value of such a project and how it could impact the lives and safety of individuals. So once we were able to get the materials, we had our students take certification courses through uh, Ducky Town, uh, through edX, as well as NVIDIA's Jetson Nano course to get a certificate. And so once they knew how to do that, they could apply skills with technology and artificial intelligence to apply it to this project. The device starts by running a script to initiate camera stream. Once the camera is on, it sends the stream to the Jetson, which computes the data by running two major algorithms. One that compares the live stream data to data we collected prior, and another that uses semantic segmentation, which is when it compares specific shapes and colors. Both of these algorithms are looking for stop lights, stop signs, and other vehicles. As it detects these objects, it assigns a confidence level average between the two algorithms. If the average confidence level meets the threshold, it locks it in and sends the message to the Arduino, which triggers the speaker module. We have been working on our project for quite a while now and are excited to explore so many more possibilities. Whether it be gathering even more data or improving our software, we are excited to see how large of an impact our device can have on our community. Working on this project has really opened my eyes to the many ways STEM can improve road safety. Five months ago, our team could have never imagined that even through some major struggles through virtual learning, we would be able to still create something that could solve for tomorrow. 